Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing awesome today because you know what? Today we're gonna go ahead and do an eyeshadow tutorial, the nude-ish nude eyeshadow tutorial. And if you guys are interested, make sure you are um, getting your snacky snacks, your drinky drinks, whatever it is that you're gonna go get. And we're gonna mess around with the Morphe 35F palette. Yes, honey, yes. Cause we're, you know what? We're gonna sparkle, we're gonna shine just a little bit. We're gonna have some mattes and shimmers and whatnot. You're gonna see my whole full face of my foundation routine ah, that everybody's been waiting for but before we begin make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you are a new user and welcome to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so that way you guys don't miss out okay okay all right let's go ahead and just get started my dog is sniffing around back here so if you guys hear any like nostrils flaring or whatever just ignore that don't even pay attention to her i'm gonna just do one eye and then off camera i'll do the other eye and i will show you guys my foundation routine that everybody wants to know so that'd be cool right right okay all right anyway so we're gonna start off with a photo focus primer this is a dewy photo focus primer and i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the lid because i do want some stickiness to my eyelids so we're gonna go ahead and do that first before we put uh, like a concealer type concealers are not to be used as a primer but I really really like using the concealer that I do have and I do have um, Bella Pierre makeup base so I'm probably gonna use that you guys so don't worry no worries nobody's gonna come and get you okay guys I'm gonna give this a couple seconds for it to dry this is a Bella Pierre makeup base and I'm gonna use this as a, um, a primer on my lid Ooh, it's nice and tacky if you put it on the lid it will look like this but it disappears for whatever reason we're just gonna put a very thin layer of it we're gonna jump in with a 30 morphe 35 f palette okay okay i'm gonna pick a color so it does have all these names and such so i will try and say the names on here all right guys we're gonna go ahead and go with this color right here this is bliss grabbing a little brush because my eyelids my creases are so small you guys like i'm not even kidding so we're just gonna go ahead and just dive right in here so i'm gonna do like a little patchy patch just right here i mean that's just how i do it because you know what my old lady skin is getting a little thinner and thinner and i don't want to like break into it i do very lightly um brush it or blend it we got that color down all right and we're gonna go with illusion so we're gonna illusion right here on the lid so this color should blend really nice doesn't really have like a nasty color that it leaves behind the 35 um, f palette i'm just kind of like blending the colors together they become one so we're gonna go with this color sand <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys I'm using the same brush so I kind of like grab the brush and a little paper towel and I kind of get the color off there like really really quickly um, so yeah that's how I do it so let's go ahead and go with this color now right here so I like how the color is turning out it's looking kind of nice and then I just kind of blend in with the other colors here it's nothing too like poppy of a color but I do like natural tones or whatever if I'm gonna be going somewhere to a park or to go mess around with my daughter because we go take pictures and such so that's exciting now we're gonna go with the color we're gonna go with the color terrain jump into this next color right here if you guys notice i'm avoiding my eyelid so i kind of like lightly brush the color on here first you know we just got to blend this color first and then we can just go ahead and blend it with the other colors as we go so we're just going to go ahead and just blend 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 Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> it almost sounds like somebody's pooping. I can't even tell. Oh my God, my battery's gonna die. Oh, I'm dead. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> While my battery is not dying, I'm gonna go ahead and pack a little punch more color to that right here. So, um, yes, I will put another battery in this sucker because girl i tried looking for a um adapter a power adapter and the one that i got from amazon sucked balls i'm just kind of blending these two colors together so nothing major since we're just doing like a natural look i do like it for it to be a little sharp so i'm gonna leave it a little bit sharp here all right i'm gonna go ahead and change the battery <laughs> 
All right, guys, I'm back. Part D. I am putting that terrine color like on the crease of my lid so it could be a little bit stronger. I'm gonna color it right about here and then we will go ahead and do the cut crease part. We're gonna do a very light cut crease so um, yes, it's gonna be very, very fun. Um, let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and continue. We're gonna grab the Glamouflage Concealer and that's what I'm gonna use as a primer to prime to do the cut crease part. I, I am using a flat brush right here. This is what I'm using for my lid. Just by blinking, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna blink a little bit and see our lives pass before our eyes. <laughs> and then all you gotta do is look up. I'm making my line as I go. <laughs> The concealer is a little bit colder today because it is cold over here, so my room is kind of cold. I did not put my heater on. That's what's creating this um, weird looking, patchy looking, because <laughs> it's so cold, it's like freezing cold. So this, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit over here, and all you gotta do is just follow, 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 follow. You just follow it. So it's looking good, honey. People make fun of me because I say crease. So if you're thinking that you have a harsh line, I'm gonna teach you how to correct it. Just go ahead and spread the rest of this out right here, very lightly or whatever. So it doesn't look too harsh, you know what I'm saying? Like if you have like blobs on your eyelids, it's gonna look weird when you put the other color on top. Let's do fortune. So it's like a, um, a reddish dark color and all you got to do is just put it at the very very end right here in the corner in the outer V and then just kind of like spread a little bit of that color right there so it kind of like blends it and I'm gonna go a little bit darker right about there so after I do that red I'm gonna go back with the terrine color and that's where I want to kind of like stop right there so that's good so far. So now we're gonna get a flat brush and it looks like this, it's a small one and it has like a little pointy pointy on the top. We're gonna go with Sahara. We're gonna go with Sa Sahara right here. But we're gonna start putting the color right here. Now this right here, it doesn't show as like really sparkly as I wanted it to, but because I've worked with this color before and uh, just go ahead and just do like you know, just pat it down and get work the color in and everything is gonna get into place. So after you have this light color, just stop right about here and I'm gonna change colors on you guys. So with the same brush, I only used one side, so go to the other side. If you want, you can wipe this off on the paper towel, but go to this other side and do a different color. So this is Cairo right here. So it's kind of like a goldish, somewhat-ish. You'll, you'll be able to see the color, what this looks like. Sometimes I like to overdo things. I'm telling you, I'm extra. Extra, read all about it. So now that I lay down those colors, I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two together. When I'm blending, I go ahead and just blend these two together. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you guys how to um, straighten that line right there. Okay, so all I do is grab the little, it's an e.l.f. concealer brush, and you just kinda like go over next to the line, not right on top, oops, a little, I, I did a little too extra right there. So, yeah, you gotta like, when you're carefully dipping this inside of your, your palette, um, always make sure you don't have like too much product on your, on your brush because you can really mess things up <laughs> just like I did. But you know what? I kind of like that. I kind of do because I think it needed a little more potency into this eyeshadow look. <laughs> so I'm going to just go ahead and go with the same brush and just buff it out a little bit because I don't want it like too, too strong. You know what I'm saying? It's trying to take over my whole world over here. Girl. What happened? So anyways, this is what we got. So I'm just kind of like blending all these colors together. I'm gonna go ahead and get off camera and do the other eyeball and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've done my eyeballs. We're gonna get ready for foundation routine that I usually do. This is what I used earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and go with a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Primer. You guys, 
wanted to know and you guys asked and I get this all the time I get asked by a lot of people how I like cover up my blemishes or not my blush blemishes it's more like hyperpigmentation that I have on my face um I will explain to you guys one day of why my face looks like this so make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button because you're not gonna want to miss out I wish I was like officially the face of Maybelline because you know what Maybelline I've been using Maybelline for several decades already <laughs> my life has been different no I'm still the same person I am never going to change who I am and I love who I am I love my age I love all the spots on my face I love all my hyper pigmentation because it has stories because you know what who's gonna like diss a person when they have so much things so many things wrong with them even hyperpigmentation pimples um psoriasis yada 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 like you ain't gonna hate on those people they all have feelings they have hearts and they have skin they have cells okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and take this brush right here and um while the dewy photo focus primer is sticky and such i am actually using juvia's festival palette by Juvia's and this is the one where I use a color corrector Manwu so this is not like orangey and this is not like pinky and this is like peachy go over it like this and you don't want to do like too too much because if you do do too much you know it's gonna pick it up and get into your foundation Maybelline 24 hour super safe foundation in the shade of 120 nude this is my right shade I have tried the Maybelline foundation finder I put my face literally my picture in there and this is what they chose and I was like oh how did you guys know oh my gosh <laughs> so anyways this is a perfect foundation and throughout the day it will get darker so I recommend this is what I use this is what I'm claiming to use is it's the best foundation ever. What I'm gonna do is, <laughs> I put a little too much right there, what am I doing? So anyways, I'm gonna thinly put this on my face. This is how I start off with um, on my face because I don't like to have a lot of foundation on my face. Let's go ahead and, oh, I'm, I'm thinning out, you guys, I'm thinning out. Do this part right here. I gotta do my under eyes, make sure that's covered first before I do the final, um, product placement on my face where it's supposed to go so i'm gonna go ahead and follow all my rules you guys didn't know that gem leva had rules <laughs> there's two layers on top where i put the orange so we're gonna what we're gonna do is go ahead and start covering this first one right here so we're gonna go ahead and do this next part right here where it needs it if you are afraid to try this please do not try this at home I'm just kidding. Okay, so now that we have the first layer on, we're gonna wait a couple minutes, like at least two or three minutes, while I continue to do the bottom of my eyelid. So the colors that we did use on the eyes, I'm gonna use the same color. So we will go ahead and just dapper do, just like this. Now, we can go ahead and go with the very last color. So now we go into this color right here with Fortune. This is the last step of putting the second layer on your problem areas so now that we have the second layer we look a little cuckoo so that's fine if somebody tries to like put you down because you have certain marks on your face don't listen to that person because you know what there's just jealousy going on i contour my face with a wet and wild um contouring palette and i'm this is um dulce de leche since i do not have apple cheeks i just go ahead and contour it to where you see the shadows because if I do it the other way, it looks like I am fakingly putting some cheeks on my face. And this is how my cheeks want to work. Do some right here, and I do some right here. And then I put a little bit right here. And we're gonna use Mineral Blush. This is Suede by Bella Pierre. And then I just kinda like put some color there, like I have like worked a hard day, and I wanna look um, a little rosy toned, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't wanna like, overly rose but i love to rose so sometimes i like to use my fit me by maybelline this is 120 classic ivory matte and poreless and i love 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 this stuff because it does not give me pimpals and i love how my face turns out 
like I have used CoverGirl before back in my teenager years and you know what that had caused me a lot of pimples I'm not even kidding you guys it was crazy and I was always as a teenager you're always picking your pimples you know what I'm saying and then so I just go ahead and I fold my my little sponge dealy and I dip inside here just kind of like going like this and then you just kind of like go like this please do not wait to put powder as soon as you put something underneath the eyes because it will crease so I do use the LA colors brow um pencil and this is actually it's called dark blonde but I wouldn't recommend it because it's a little too light for me so if you guys know of a good eyebrow pencil let me know down in the comments below Becca this is a Becca um highlighter I use it as a highlighter because it is a highlighter and this is what the color looks like I don't know if you guys can see it highlight right here with my finger and I'm extra so if anybody sees me out there at the Walmart or Dollar General whatever honey I like to shine I'm like come and get me and I usually put some on my forehead so it looks like I'm glowing because of my old lady skin and then I just go ahead and do that and then put some on the top so I'm gonna use a Milani lipstick in the shade of Bahama beige seeing the color statement lip liner it's called 09 spice and then and put the lipstick on usually I like to take my time when I'm doing my makeup but um it's almost gonna be time for me to go oh my god um I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyeliner and the mascara I am not putting lashes because I'm going um to with my daughter to go take pictures I'm gonna curl my lashes for a very tiny bit a liquid liner this is jet black and I love this liquid liner guys now, this is how I do my eyeliner So I usually go from the from the bottom to the top. I'm pretty sure I'm running out of my e.l.f. liquid liner, guys. This is not cool. Go ahead and do this one right here. And then you just go straight. And then do a big in right here and then go down. And then you kind of like knead it. Oh no! Time's up! I'm using the Paris Hilton Volumizing Mascara. That's what I'm gonna use today. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna put any fake lashes today because I'm not gonna be that, that extra. I just wanna be a little extra. Trust me, when I was younger, I used to say that I don't wanna get old because I don't wanna lose my lashes. And you know what happened? I'm getting old and I'm losing my lashes. Well, it doesn't look like I volumized anything but my life. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I hope you guys like it because I worked really hard on it. <laughs> okay okay so um i hope you guys liked my video and thank you for watching and um sitting down laughing at my butt and whatnot but um i totally appreciate you guys for um joining me on my youtube channel and um if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down whatever your comments may be um share your thoughts and your prayers and whatnot make sure you guys stay safe with the whole covid that's going on and i really appreciate all my followers and my fans thank you guys so much i will see you guys another time bye, -bye.